Greetings and salutations all. My name is S. Spectrum and I'd like to welcome you back after an incredibly long hiatus to Uplink OS, the visual update for the 2001 hacking game. Um, so, as some of you kindly pointed out to me in the comments, I was not playing the game as optimally as possible the last time. And I was uh, missing out on the fact that there was, in fact, a story mode. So, what I've done is I've prepared us to go ahead and start in on the story mode. So, without further ado, let's get to it. This message you will receive um, on the 14th of April. So, just keep that in mind if you are wondering when the initial message will come in. That's when it will happen. Agents, if you are reading this email, then it means that I am dead. I have been working for Andromeda for the past month on a top secret project, and until yesterday I did not even know exactly what I was coding. This story, hoo -hoo. This story hit the news, and I decided that I should try to find out what was happening with Project Revelation. And yesterday I managed to gain access to their standalone server room, and copy the files that we were working on. Unfortunately, they saw what I was doing and I had to leave quick. And I haven't had time to analyze the project files. If you read this, then they have already caught me. Ark cannot be trusted. We must come together as a group and find out what they are up to before something terrible happens. I don't know if it's already too late. Ark Central Mainframe. So he's given me his login and his password. So let's go in here, prop this off. We're looking for, oh, we're looking for a spelling tutor. No, so we're looking for the Arc Central mainframe. We do have that, we'll go ahead and favorite that. Pop this up. And we will click on the Inter NIC, one of the suggestions I got in the comments was that that was the premier way to secure my connection and easily trace or get rid of my trace fields. So connect up. Cannot connect. We need a trusted server, so that's fine. Let's pop out of here. Close the ah there we go. And we'll actually connect to the entire IC. Search it up. We are looking for ARC. So we're looking for a public service terminal right there. Book that. Bookmark that. Go ahead and pop it into favorites as well. And oh, it is unfortunately right on top of my NIC connection as well. That's going to be a little bit cumbersome. All right, so. We'll randomize our connection again. And we'll take out Arc, connect there. And we'll take out their mainframe, connect there. And with any luck. All right, so we need a voice print. Not a problem. We have connected to their server now though, so let's go ahead and pop in here. Just get rid of some of those access information. And again, as I was politely referred to, I do not need to be deleting these as they belong there. So, let's connect to the public access server. Aaron Kwan. We're going to pick up his phone number. Drop out of here. Get our voice, analysis, <laughs> voice analyzer ready. And let's give him a call. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on. Hello? 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 And there we go. We've got our voice sample. Okay, and before we do this, we're gonna get our motion detector ready can never be too careful. One more time to the NIC. Randomize. 
pipe through the public server into that server. We'll connect it on up. Get our bypasses ready. And oh, never hurts to have a trace tracker up and running as well. Let's get this up here. All right. Hello, I am the system administrator. My voice is my passport. Verify me. And that wants a little bit more. We can get rid of that. And this is our decipher. Let's go ahead and get that up to snuff. And we're cracking. All right, so, and uh, during the interim, I went ahead and uh, hacked a bank account to get a cool million in credits so I could max out all of our bypassers, crackers, security features. So we are as good as we're going to be getting. And we already have a password, so let's go ahead and... All right, seems like they've already removed his credentials from the server. Let's go ahead and do that ourselves. Get on in there. And we will uh, password breaker. Let's speed that up a little bit. Access granted. So, all right, we've got a trace on us. We got some time though. Let's see here. We'll get rid of that just off the bat. And here we can see where he attempted to copy the phone codes. Let's go ahead and see if we can. No, that tells us nothing. We know nothing, as it were. Back into NIC. Let's go ahead and remove all the traces of that little adventure. All right, disconnect from there. And so now what we're gonna do ahead, go ahead and do is fast forward and see if anyone notices what we did. There we go. So we've got an offer you can't refuse. Agent S's Spectrum, we couldn't help but notice that you have recently been poking around in some of our company's computer systems, presumably attempting to determine what it is what is happening with our company at the moment. We feel we should warn you at this time that any attempt to gain unauthorized access to our systems will result in severe consequences. Pleasantries aside, we've got a funny idea what pleasantries mean, you may have heard that we have been hiring a number of uplink agents recently for a yet-to-be-announced project. Your recent activities caused us to run a background check on you, and you seem to be the kind of agent we're looking for. If you ha if you would be interested in doing some work for us, we'd love to hear from you. Reply to this email or send one to internal at arc.net and we will see what we can do. We think you will find that ARC offers the best rates for freelance agents in the business. We look forward to hearing from you. All right, so let's respond. Let's uh, give me the details. All right, welcome to ARC. As it happens, we have some work for you to get started on immediately. We are getting ready to test our out revelation and we want you to help. Please read the attached mission description and get started as soon as possible. No doubt you will incur some expenses for this mission, so please accept a small donation of 10,000 credits to help you with any equipment you might need. The attached file is to be used as part of your mission. Do not attempt to run the attached program locally. Alright, so Revelations is attached. Let's grab that. Confirm that we have it. Right there, beautiful. And so here's the mission. Our corporation has been developing a software product known as Revelation for some time now, and version 1.0 is finally ready. 
In order to test and refine this program, we need to test it in the real world. Your mission will be to install and run Revelation for us. The target system is the Ornamore internal service system. You will need to first locate this computer. No doubt Ornamore will not be too pleased if they catch you on their system. You will find that we have sent you version 1.0 of Revelation in an email. Once you are inside the Ornamore system, copy the program into their memory banks and distribute it. Disrupt all their security systems. The more security you disable, the better this product will operate. In order to activate the program, you will need to enter a command prompt and run it from there. Do not attempt to run Revelation on your computer. Once complete, contact, contact us at internal at arc.net and we'll arrange your debriefing payment. You will be paid a further 10,000 credits for successful completion of this mission. Codename Maidenflight. Ah, a wild counter offer appears. Agent Spectrum, firstly, let us congratulate you on scoring such a lucrative deal with Andromeda Research Corporation. Secondly, let us warn you that you are making a big mistake. That's not the first warning we've had that ARC can't be trusted. You must have read the headlines, and by now you have probably guessed what ARC are up to. Our sources tell us you are about to run a test run ARC secret project on our computer systems. We can only pray this message reaches you before you go ahead, and that it did. Whatever ARC have offered you, we can do better. We have a vested interest in stopping ARC, so we would like to offer you a counter-proposal. Send us a copy of whatever ARC sent you, and we'll reward you with 15,000 credits. You can work for us full-time. Simply reply to this email with the ARC data attached. Before you answer, think about the moral implications of what you are about to do. Can you really trust Ark? Who recently made the news by murdering two of their best uplink agents? Well, I don't think I can really trust them. So let's go ahead and reply to this. And so an interesting thing to note here is that the story mode has two branches. We can either work for Ark or we can work for, I wish they had a more pronounceable name, Ornamore, I don't know. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the Ornamore first, but I think what we'll do is once we finish that up, we will uh, we'll run through it again one more time as a uh, as somebody who is looking to help out with the ARC folks. So let's rock and roll. We'll reply to them, add revelations, and send. Now your recent submission. Let us be the first to congratulate you, Agent. We have been totally unable to find any copies of Revelation, and we have been hoping that you would decide to work for us. Thanks to your submission, we will now be able to catch up with the research of our... Uh, go ahead and hit OK there. We will now be able to catch up with the research of our counter virus to Revelation. We have already deposited the full reward into your account. We will have some more work for you soon regarding this project. We will let you know. And so on that note, let's go ahead and hit fast forward and oh, we've got a warning. So it seems that you were working for the enemy behind our back all this time. You cannot imagine how surprised we were when we heard that Ornimer had received a complete copy of Revelation and that it was an uplink agent who was the source. Unfortunately for you, you were the only uplink agent who could have sent them this copy. This makes you our new enemy. Take this message however you want, but Andromeda Research Corporation will not let this betrayal go unpunished. We'll be watching you. And when we finally come after you, you're going to wish you had never heard of Arnmore Corporation or Uplink. Well, that's a rude. All right, let's hit fast forward and see what the next mission entails. All right, and there we have it. We've got a new mission. 
Perform a covert installation of a tracer. One of our sources within the Andromeda Research Corporation has discovered that ARC are planning on launching Revelation from three primary systems. When the time is right, their agents will enter these systems and begin running Revelation. We already have two of the systems covered, but the third is wide open. We need you to get inside that system and install a tracer program covertly, which will send us routine updates and will give us early warning when Revelation is launched. Ho oh, ho, too far, too far. First, you'll need to download the program from our file server. Addresses and login details are shown below. Second, break into the target system, ARC internal services, and compromise their security systems. This includes proxy monitors and firewalls, etc. You have to stop them from seeing what you're doing. Copy the tracer into place, then drop into a console. You can run the tracer from there. Once it is running, it will immediately start hiding itself. Check you can't see it from the file server screen. This will ensure nobody else can see it. Cover your tracks and get out. Reply to this email when you're done. Codename Tracer. It's running another 10 grand for this. And we've got these new lovely file systems, so let's rock and roll on that. Pop this down for now. Okay, so we need to get from here. And even though we're working for them, habit dictates that we will go into NIC and connect to them this way. Here we go. We're in. Download. Beautiful. And like I said, being a creature of habit in this world keeps you out of jail longer. So those are gone. We're going to pop this down. Alright, so now we're going to the ARC internal servers. Into the NIC. Randomize our connection. Into the public access. Into the ARC internal systems. Up go our bypasses. And we'll crack the password right quick. Alright, so, file server. We are uploading Revelation Tracer. And so it's in, and we see it there into admin, into the console. Let's get this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna switch to the user account. We're gonna run Revelation Tracer. All right, so it now says it's invisible. Beautiful. And what we're gonna go ahead and do from this point is just I'm gonna disconnect it quickly because <laughs> I don't remember how to get out of that situation. Connect here. We had several seconds left on that, so I'm not feeling overly concerned. Alright, disconnect from there. Plug in, make sure that we're actually on the NIC. Oh, that is a real pain, I'll tell you. Having two that overlap that closely. And into the arc. Let's see, is this still valid? It is. File server. We do not see revelations. Beautiful. Pop into admin. We will go ahead and get. Oh, smooth move. We'll go ahead and get rid of our tracks from there. And we'll go ahead and get rid of those. No. 
No, not that one. Ah. Uh, well, I didn't mean to delete that one, and I'm. But. What can you do? Well, I deleted that one. Let's delete the file closed as well. Haha. <laughs> then it's like nothing ever happened. We'll pop out of there. Hop back into the NIC. Into the access logs. Remove all traces of our activities. And disconnect. And just like that, we send off the we did it. So congratulations, we just started receiving ping signals from our tracer software. This means it was set up correctly and working. Time will tell if they manage to spot what you are doing. We have made the full payment into your account. When the time comes, we will send you some tracer software that you can run on your local system. This will list all of the computers that have been infected with the Revelation virus. We also uh, changed our Neuromancy rating. We'll get rid of that. Alright, but with that complete, I think this will be the perfect time to call it a day. So thank you all for uh, joining me once again to take a look at the Uplink OS game. I hope you are all going to enjoy this storyline. Uh, I know I certainly am. Um, as always, if you'd like to be notified of when the next video goes live, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, have yourselves a great day, and I will see you next time.